Hello everyone and welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Deepthi. Today we will cover an overview of Cleanse Asset in CDQ. The agenda of the video is to understand what is a Cleanse Asset and how it can be configured through a demo. A Cleanse Asset is a set of one or more transformation steps that can standardize the form and content of your data. It has one or more cleanse instances. We will see more on instances in the coming demo. Each asset will have input fields on which cleanse operations can be applied. This is useful for improving data consistency, fixing errors, meeting standards, merging data fields and standardizing data. We can add one or more instances with multiple input fields. The following steps can be performed on the input fields. Convert case, remove values, remove spaces, replace values. Cleanse asset contains merge tab to create field based on one or more fields across the instances or within an instance. This is used to merge input fields post cleansing. Now we will move on to the demo. To create a cleanse asset, Choose Data Quality as the product. Click on New. Click on Cleanse. You can give the name of the asset here and you can choose the appropriate location using the Browse button. Go to Configuration tab. Expand Instance. Click on the Edit button. You can give your instance name here. Using the plus icon, you can add inputs to the instance. Currently, we have added two inputs to instance 1. Click on OK. Go to step sequence and click on plus icon. Choose the operation which you want to perform on the instance. Choose the property from the right side pane. Here we can see that there are options to convert the data into uppercase, lowercase, toggle case, sentence case and title case. For now, we will choose toggle case. You can test the results right away by passing some values here. Choose the runtime environment. Click on test. Now you can see that the output has come with the letters toggled. In a similar way, you can add multiple instances to process different steps. Inside each instance, you can specify multiple steps of operations to be performed. The various other operations that are available are Remove Values, Remove Spaces, Replace Values. Let's click on Remove Values. Click OK. Here, we can remove custom strings or we can remove dictionary values. We will have to mention the delimiter by clicking on the select option here. After that we have to mention the scope. We can remove values from anywhere, from the beginning or from the end. We can add the custom strings here which needs to be removed. If we are choosing remove dictionary values, we will have to browse for the dictionary that we have already created here. In a similar way, the next operation that is available is Remove Spaces. Here, there is option to remove leading and trailing spaces or we can also remove multiple spaces. Let's see the next option. Next option is to replace values. Here, we can replace 
custom strings with new data values, replace input values with dictionary values or replace dictionary matches with a new data value. We can also specify the delimiter and the scope here. Once we are done with the testing of our instances, we can save the asset. We can see now that the asset is saved successfully. The cleanse asset that we create in data quality can be further used in data integration mappings. Kindly refer the document in this link for more information on cleanse asset. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.